Hi, this is Sean from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. To complete this repair, you'll need a quarter inch ratchet and socket, a number two Phillips screwdriver, which I just have the bit that I will incorporate in my drill or, and or my socket, and a quarter inch drive, which I've incorporated in my drill. disconnected power and then I'm going to start removing some panels from the rear of it. Uh, the back panel there's a held in place with quarter inch screws. So we're going to go ahead and just start removing the uh, electrical components here. Um, I'm just going to start with the six switches across. They're just held in place with some Phillips screws. So now we can take our switches out and they will just slide right back out like so. All right, and then also from the rear, we can remove our electronic control. There's a ribbon that connects to our touchpad that we'll take out first. It's actually two ribbons on this one. So we remove those and then we can remove our control. that out. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove our uh, uh, this down here for the element on our indicator light. And that one will stay there. This little tab, little it's just a little button that'll have to come out. So we can reuse that. So I'm going to go ahead and all you do is press in on the light slightly and then slide it and then it will come out and then we can push this little guy out so that way we can reuse that. Set that to the side. There's another one up here for the warming drawer, which we're going to do the exact same thing for. Now the other two components that are still connected are here for the switches. Uh, what we'll have to do is push this, the switches will come out this way. And there's a tab on the back of the switch, which we can press in. And it will then, with any luck, come forward. And there we go. And then we can disconnect our wires. And then all I'm going to do 
is reconnect our wires and just leave the switch in there inside the oven or inside the control panel. So I'm going to take my two wires and basically just reconnect it here. Okay. I appreciate that very much. So that way Thank you. I don't lose the switch or anything. It's still connected. Now I'm going to do the same, same thing with our wires. Alright, so now that's all disconnected. So at this point here, all we have to do is remove our, our console from the actual range. So here we're going to start with removing the cooktop. We're going to open the door. And they have screws that look like they connect to a tab that slides down here in order to remove that cooktop out of the way. So we're going to take those out. They're just a little Phillips screw. One on each side. And then with that out, we should be able to lift up our cooktop, which we are. And then we can move it forward. Now we want to be careful not to scratch it. Um, so we're just going to try to slide it forward, which now by doing this gives us access to the screws underneath there. Okay, now there's a trim piece here that we have to take off first to gain access to the screws that actually hold the panel in place. So we're going to start with those trim screws. There's one here, one in the center, and then one over on this edge here. So three that are going to hold that trim in. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with one of them. And I, it's a number two Phillips. Last, we'll have the screw in the center. Oh, never mind. The screw in the center doesn't have to come out. It's just got a little slot here that it fits around the screw to hold it in place. So we just had to take out the two end screws. So I'm going to set this aside. I want to make sure I don't scratch it. So I'm going to uh, put it down with the uh, side that shows up. Now we can access the screws that are located up in here that are mounting our control panel in place. So we'll start with the first one. Number one, and I'm going to come around to the other side and take out the other one. All right, so that's out. Uh, and then we're going to go to the back of it and take out the remaining screws to hold that panel in place. Okay, so there should just be two more screws, it appears, that are holding this in place. So I'm going to, they're at, located at the end here. Take those out. One on this side. In theory, from what I understand so far, if we just rotate this up and off, we forgot one of the screws here, or the, uh, the lights. There we go. And take out the orange dot here that I forgot to take out that that light indicator light was on. We'll set that down. The last thing we're going to want to remove on the inside is this mounting bracket. It's held in place. There's a screw here and a screw here. So uh, what we'll do is just uh, take those out now. All right, so we want to remove our bracket here that mounts our control. And with those out, it should just lift up and come right out just like that. So now we have our touchpad assembly, which uh, uh, is basically these ribbons that connect to what you push. It's all built into this piece. We can give this to the customer. They can ship it out. Uh, and then they're going to call us back when they get it, and we'll come back and do everything all over again and reinstall it. OK, now that that's taken care of, uh, I'm going to go ahead and slide my cooktop back so that way I can just reinstall that. So it doesn't, since that's staying here, so it doesn't fall, uh, injure anybody. Got to get it all the way back and then drop the brackets down in place. And now that was held in place by two Phillips screws. So we're going to go ahead and secure that. So the cooktop is back on now. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and install the back panel 
that we had removed uh, just so it's one less thing that's laying around the house. Okay, I'm putting the trim piece back on and I'm not going to tighten it down all the way. I just want it in here so it's one less thing to clutter up the house that could potentially get damaged. So I got the first screw in to hold it. And we'll come over here and do the same to this side. All right, so that's in there. It's not in there tight or anything, but at least it's out of the way. Uh, and then what we'll do is, now we have to install, I'm gonna install my back panel here. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I put the back panel, I just put it in place here, just slid it underneath all my wiring. So I can go ahead and attach that and just get it out of the way for the customer. And what we'll do is before, before we leave, uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, ask for a towel. Just place a towel down here just so none of these wires or in case things get bumped, they can scratch the, uh, the uh, component here or the uh, scratch the paint on the product. leave the unit unplugged for obvious reasons. We're going to explain to the customer it's imperative that they also leave it unplugged because if not there's a definite electrical shock. Thank you for watching another quality in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.